President Biden is facing pushback from members of his own party tonight over one of his top cabinet picks. Neera Tandon was tapped to lead the powerful Office of Management budget, working with lawmakers. to pay for the president's priorities. But after years of mean tweets about members of Congress, her nomination may now become the first high-profile failure of Mr. Biden's presidency. Here's CBS's Ed O'Keefe. President Biden tonight says he's disappointed by how slowly his cabinet is coming together. I don't so much blame it on the Senate. I blame it on the failure to have a transition that was rational. After a bumpy transition and the impeachment trial, just nine of Mr. Biden's cabinet nominees have been confirmed. The pace of confirmations is lagging compared to similar points in previous presidencies. Just today, two committees canceled votes on Neera Tandon, the president's pick for budget director. West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin says he won't support her, citing years of sharply partisan comments on air and online about members of both parties. I think there's no secret. She is lacking the votes right now. And she's working hard to try to get the votes. White House officials tell CBS News they're sticking with her. But in the 50-50 Senate, Democratic defections can be fatal for a Biden pick. So Tandon now requires GOP support. It's a numbers game, right? It's a matter of getting one Republican to support her nomination. We're continuing to do that outreach. Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski could be that one, but tonight says she's not yet made a decision. Tandon had deleted more than 1,000 tweets before being nominated, but late tonight, a newly surfaced tweet shows she'd even attacked Murkowski in the past. Also tonight, President Biden says he's read a U.S. intelligence report the CBS News has learned is expected to show Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman approved the 2018 killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The president's expected to speak soon with the Saudi king, and it's likely this report will be part of that conversation. Nora. Ed O'Keefe at the White House. Thank you, Ed.